Hi there everyone, it is now the 2nd of October 2011, meteorologist Robert Spetty here with WesternPacificWeather.com in collaboration with 28storms.com talking about Typhoon Nogue or Quill here moving away from the Philippines today as well as another events area out here just north of Palau. We're going to talk about both of these systems but first, uh, Typhoon Nogue did move across the Philippines about two days ago causing severe flooding across the islands there which has inundated numerous towns across the region, has caused one death. I know there was early reports so those numbers were a little bit higher, but looks like it actually has decreased now down to one death. But the main concern out here is the flooding. Over 300 millimeters in certain locations out here, but that alone has not been the main cause of the flooding. It is also due to the fact that we have seen numerous rain showers in the week, not only with this typhoon, but also with Nesset that just moved through the region less than a week ago. So overall, though, in the Philippines, and let's say the last week, and a half they have seen upwards of 1,000 millimeters of rainfall in certain locations so a very serious situation out there with the continuous flooding and also with this next invest on the horizon here impossible moisture moving on shore with that that flooding looks like it can only get worse out there but right now just showing you the water vapor imagery still showing all this moisture located near the center circulation but good news a lot of dry air starting to work in way from the north actually shown here in the green and the bluish that shows that dry air out here and on the the, uh, visible imagery here you can actually see those clearer skies coming in and wrapping into the system so that is going to weaken the system for starters but also this is going to start seeing an increase in vertical wind shear across the uh, entire south china sea as shown here on this wind shear chart now all this wind shear is associated with a strong ridging high coming in out of asia here and uh, much of china bringing a lot of cooler temperatures but also changing those winds from the lower levels to the upper levels that's what wind shear is it means that the winds at the lower levels may be five knots but in the upper levels you got them upwards of 50 knots you're gonna have 40 knots of wind shear out there and that's what this is displaying here tropical systems dislike that warm core lows are vertically stacked so once you get that shear knocking over those uh, those tops there that's really going to cause disruption in the circulation here and especially once you get in this upwards of about 20 to 30 knots of wind shear moving in on this system right now it's going to disrupt it and this is fantastic news because it is weakening the system right now so those highest winds at landfall over Vietnam are likely going to be tropical storm strength bad news still gonna have a lot of rainfall with this because that moisture is already wrapped in it is still getting some inflow from the south so still some moisture also with this wind shear is that it's gonna disrupt the exact landfall on the model guidance a lot of these models are split and if it's exactly gonna go south of Hanine or move straight towards Vietnam well right now I kinda do believe it is gonna move right towards Vietnam actually JTWC the Joint Typhoon Warning Center out of Pearl Harbor is taking it on that track moving it south of Hanine here and making landfall between Hanoi and Hue Vietnam uh, on the 5th and into the 6th, the morning of the 6th, likely going to see that landfall. Good news, expecting a gradual increase in intensity due to that radical increase in vertical wind shear out there. Therefore, at landfall, likely going to be a tropical storm. So really good news because much of Vietnam, they're already suffering with exceptionally high rainfall here. Not just from Nesset that just made landfall out there, but also from Hang Tong that just moved through the region not too long ago as well. But here, showing the rainfall anomalies for the past 30 days. Noting in blue, that's where you're having rainfall above average, about 15, 15 millimeters per day noting across the Philippines here you have that very high their area there in blue but also a little bit brighter blue out here across Hanai and into Vietnam where you're also seeing a one-two punch from these tropical systems are moving through but also the southwest monsoon is a very intense this year and also just showing that precipitation and those higher than normal values extending all the way across Indochina here and also down on towards Thailand where you've been seeing a lot of deaths and flooding out there as well so Really not good news as far as this system making landfall across that region and it's also going to increase the potential for flooding out there as you are already seeing out there in much of Indochina as well as the Philippines. But now let's look a little bit back towards the east here and let's look at this Invest 90W out here just north of Palau and located within that whole monsoonal trough that you can see all these low pressure areas extending from Indochina out towards the typhoon here and now this new Invest area that could potentially follow in the footsteps of this next system. All of these systems are likely going to continue to track west as well, noting this area of high pressure 
spilling in from the north, bringing much cooler temperatures. We'll actually talk about that more in a second as well. But this system is going to track along the southern periphery of that high pressure. It wants to run downhill. So it looks like Luzon could see another hit of moisture here and possibly a tropical system by later part of this week. As a few of the models are already picking up on development of this system, noting you have a GFS out here in red. You have the CMC here in purple that's picking up on this, but also no gaps here in green picking up on it and taking it out here towards the west along that southern periphery of that high pressure ridging in from the north as well. All these other plots down here as well though just showing the development and the movement of our typhoon and also another area of low pressure developing up here in the west release off of Japan. But I want to look at this little green line here a little more in detail and that is no gaps from uh, Finmont. And that does start to develop this little invest area out here. You do have the typhoon, typhoon Nalge here moving away from the Philippines showing that circulation but also take a look at the just north of Palau here in the coming days by midweek and into next week. You start to see that closed circulation and that moisture developing and that could potentially move off here towards the west, towards the Philippines by the latter part of next week and into the weekend. So just keeping a close eye on that as well. Still long range so there's still a chance for development could change over the next several days because model guidance especially at past five days out does have a margin of error in it. So either way though it looks like this bulk of this moisture is going to move towards the Philippines and that is going to increase and even produce more flooding across there. I know it's hard to believe in, especially for people in Luzon, but it looks like you could have another shot of moisture here. And same thing actually goes with much of Indochina, as you've seen with this model outlook. looks like a lot of that moisture is going to be moving onshore out there. And even though it is seeing a gradual decrease in intensity, nonetheless, you're still going to be seeing that bulk of that moisture. The bad news is that any tropical system that's going to develop up down there is going to continue to track off towards the west, south of this strong area of high pressure, spilling in from the north across uh, much of China here and extending down towards Japan. Actually in Japan, we're seeing a cool off in temperatures here, noting these temperatures in 16, 17 degrees out there. Do have some moisture and some rainfall along the west coast of Honshu today, but overall fair weather coming with this uh, strong area of high pressure. We are seeing some gusty winds down there around Okinawa and actually much of the Ryukyu Islands. Winds upwards of about 20 to 25 knots out there, but still seeing those cooler temperatures behind these winds and with this high pressure. We're actually out here in northern China seeing temperatures upwards in the single digits 8 and 9 degrees and off the map up here in Mongolia actually seeing freezing temperatures as well so very cold area of high pressure associated with this and that is starting to see that transition to autumn and eventually winter out here so good news that's going to start killing off the tropical storms as well because all these high pressures and these cold air coming in from the north bring in more vertical wind shear as noted earlier in the update and that would definitely be a welcome to relief but I do want to note it is just the beginning of the end of typhoon season here because we are still at the max of typhoon season and you still could expect to see these tropicals extending out well into October and early November but that is all for right now everybody thanks again for watching here at westernpacificweather.com or if you're watching us at 28storms.com also if you have any questions comments or suggestions as usual please post them in the comment box below and continue to stay safe out there everyone we'll continue to keep you updated on these developing systems out here and also this surge of cold air coming in from the north so have a good day stay safe